oftentimes images are very powerful to use when you do research. You use an image to tell a story and one of the best places to search for images is actually in the Library of Congress. In the Library of Congress they have a section called American Memory and under the American Memory section are hundreds of different sources for um, different shows of American Memory. For example, I have here a uh, history of the American West 1860 to 1920. So if you were a student in my class and I talk at length about the Ludlow Massacre, um, I have a song for it, I have secondary material for it, I have some images for it. Um, to me it's a big deal and it says a lot about America at the time and it says a lot about America's labor history and how that had progressed. So I want to show you how to use uh, the history of the American West as sort of an example of how to use the entire Library of Congress website. So here we have the Library of Congress American Memory History of the American West 1860 to 1920. Now you're going to want to search by keyword. That's what you're going to want to do. But, Or you can browse the subject index. You're going to want to do that as well. But I'm going to want to show you another way to get to where you want to go that I think is more beneficial for you as a budding historian. So we'll scroll down here and we'll see that they have a special presentation. I don't want to, I'm not interested in the 10th Mountain Division. Um, understanding the collection uh, about related stories or resources, uh, collection connections, how to order photographic reproductions, uh, building the digital collection, copyright restrictions. Let's talk. Let's go to the about section. So I'll click on that, and we get the about the collection. The images in the history of the American West are drawn from more than 600,000 photographs in the holdings of the Western History and Genealogy Department at Denver Public Library. In 1997, the Denver Public Library won an award through the Library of Congress, and it goes on to tell you more and more of that story. So you notice you've got some room to, room to scroll down here. So just going and taking a look at some of the headings, we have the samples of the diversity of the collection. Uh, prominent photographers, uh, American Indian communities, and subjects. And if you clicked on that, we see prominent photographers here. All we're going to be doing is jumping down. See that? So you could have just as well kind of scrolled down. And you'll see that a photographer by the name of David Barry, very famous photographer in the Old West, uh, took some photographs from North Dakota and Montana. Um, and their studio portraits and Wild West shows. So if you were doing a story on Buffalo Bill and Sitting Bull and their Wild West shows, you might find some photos here. So let's open that and see what we get. And sure enough, there's Buffalo Bill, otherwise known as William Cody and Gordon Lilly. Uh, but I wanted something with uh, some Native Americans in it. So here's a group of um, Red Cloud Dakota Chief seated with Johnny Baker. And this is really what I was looking for um, were some of those types of, of images of American Indians with um, white people. Um, so if we come down to number 16, William Cody with Red Cloud, I can click on that and what I'm going to find is the image here and then I can click on the image to kind of you know bring it to life and see what it looks like and there you see the image a little bit better and this image definitely speaks to me. It, it has a story to it. Um, and, and 
particular in the way of of the people and how they're how they're posed um, we always have to me it seems particularly in with Bill Cody who by the way was extremely kind and generous to the Native Americans that were in his show he paid them extremely well but here still he is seen um, standing while the uh, Red Cloud and the other Indian is sitting um, their eyes are cast downward Bill's Cody's eyes are cast upwards and then you could download this and you have a source right there that you could tell me how you found this and you can cite this source and it gives you other information the title of the photo might be important if you're going to cite the source um, a summary and dates and things like that okay um, so as we're going through this you can see that that's a David Berry photograph and it's a very good one uh, there's other photographers here George Beam Edward Booth Joseph Collier Donald Camp and why am I telling you this because a lot of these photographers are so famous that oftentimes if you're reading uh, in a textbook you might come across the name of uh, L.C. McClure or you might come across the name uh, Jess Nussbaum um, and these are things that you're going to to look for you also have the diversity of American Indian communities represented so let's say you just wanted something on the Arapaho well here they are and you can click on all images of Arapahoes or the Pawnee or the Pueblo or the Utes or the Hopi diversity of subjects photographed and so I'm looking for again the Ludlow I don't see it here but there it is minor strike Ludlow um, and we've got some great uh, topics here abandoned buildings adobe buildings amusement parks Annie Oakley bathhouses in the Old West um, blankets Buffalo Bill the cavalry gauchos laborers military officers the miners strike at Cripple Creek the miners strike at Ludlow missions mountain divisions uh, mules parades pottery rock art Shoshone skiing ski troops Wild West shows on and on so this is a, this is the one that's interesting me I'm going to open that up take a look at this and here we see that there's 201 photographs and again it's photographs from the collection of the Denver Public Library in the history of the American West 1860 to 1920 through the American memory through the Library of Congress okay so um, but here you have uh, a Negro minor striker uh, which you might want to look at um, so we'll bring that up and see if the photograph is worth anything and you see that it's a it's a family of an African American that were working the mines in in Ludlow but you might find that this particular photograph doesn't suit you so you can just kind of you know scour through and, and see if we could get to a better photograph here coal miners family you're looking for a particular picture that is going to resonate with your readers uh, something that's powerful and you notice up here you also have a next item so you can keep keep clicking the next until you come to a photograph that you think in this little thumbnail here might have something for you now it's an interesting photograph there it's just a young man with a rifle um, in front of the Ludlow saloon wears a kerchief in support of coal miners during the, UMI, the UMW labor strike against CF&I in Ludlow so this is uh, a, a photograph that I might look at and I'm seeing as 24 201 201 so I might write that down I just might number 24 looks good to me I'll keep going taking a look at the next and the next and the next and so on uh, union officials meeting federal troops ah uh, here's a great uh, union organizer a man by the name of Palazari um, he wears a kerchief in support what a great what a great grin and uh, again looking at what he's wearing he's got the uh, overalls covering a jacket uh, obviously it's quite cold 
uh, the kerchief, the hat, this beautiful smile. Things are good, um, but of course they won't be good f for long. And again, all the information that you need um, to make sure that you cite this particular source so that other people can, can find it. You can download it. Uh, you can check um, a particular um, their copyright information. That's okay. You can do that. Um, and then there's some things that you can find in here. Um, okay, so now you it's a little clunky, um, but I would rather you pull this from the Library of Congress and find the images this way rather than go out and look for images on Google which you may or may not find and may be pixelated to boot or the files might be too small. Why don't we use high quality images and let the people know that you did your homework and you found these images through the Library of Congress. I mean that's pretty impressive, don't you think? Well, I hope that's it for now. Thank you very much.